come out and address right away. Sure. Um, from what I understand, mm -hmm. from reports of people online, and from what I've experienced, I think the durability degradation on PC is different than it is on consoles. Oh, okay. And um, the Scholar of the First Sin, from what I understand, is will have parity between from console to console, PC to PC. Okay. In terms of if that's going to change or not, mm -hmm. um, it's something we could start to push again to look into. Yeah. We brought it up before. Um, it was something that from Software chose to leave mm -hmm. the way it was. And so um, we, um, as a community manager, I think we can uh, sure. explore a little bit further for you and, and try to look into it. So thank you for that. In terms of what was the other question people had? Um, durability and then a lot of people are asking different questions about like if the game's going to be a lot different. It's the same. It's the same base game. So it's the same areas, the same. Right. There's no new areas. There's no new bosses. Right. But you're going to see, and I think um, up here you'll see a few different changes, yeah. uh, including we're going to No Man's Wharf right now. Sure. And um, the, the main differences that you'll find are the graphics, the frame rate, um, the enemy placement, the the, the weapon placement. Mm -hmm. Like you said, there's a weapon, there's a pretty late game weapon that you find pretty early on. It's the Grand Lance. We could spoil it. Sure. It's the Grand Lance. Yeah. Um, and from what I understand is that um, we ran a poll. Mm -hmm about what weapons people use, mm -hmm. and the Grand Lance was um, the last one. Okay. And so from some <laughs> thought that was interesting. Obviously, it was difficult to get a hold of before. Sure. Uh, I believe it was in one of the memories. Um, but now, you can literally find the Grand Lance in the forest for the Fallen Giants. Yes. It's a very interesting weapon. You can maybe equip it a little later. We can check it out. But mm -hmm. there's just stuff like that that changes things around a bit. It yeah. makes the game a little different. Yep. Um, and another difference that you'll find really fast in the game are is that there are going to be more of these petrified uh, people hanging around. Yeah. Kind of gating different areas where there might be some uh, treasure. And uh, that's what you break there. with a fragrant branch of yore. Yes. And there's more fragrant branches of yore yes. in the game. And so you have to, you kind of choose which path you want to use. Mm -hmm. Like when I was playing, I wanted to unlock straight right away, so I went yeah. straight there. Yes. Um, but that's going to be different. And there's one we're going to well, we'll see you later. Well, <laughs> there's one petrified person you see real fast in the game that um, I don't exactly know what's back there. I don't know sure. why it's oh the it's the one early on. Yes, and things betwixt. We haven't looked at that yet. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll check see it out. What's back but there. you're gonna check out Norman's Wharf right now. Yes. Okay. One thing you'll notice is Luca Teal is not here. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yep, she's not there anymore. Uh, she's somewhere else. Yes. Within No Man's Wharf, I believe. Mm -hmm. So. Um, People keep on asking questions. I keep on forgetting. <laughs> uh, soul mem. People ask about soul memory. If you didn't know, when the patch hit in February, there's a ring that was added called the Agape Ring. Yes, I believe. And I believe it's sold by Strayed. Mm -hmm. And that ring, when you have it equipped, all of the souls that you gain will go into that ring. Soul memory. You'll stop gaining souls, so your soul yes. memory will stop advancing. Yes. So that's something that exists in the game right now, mm -hmm. in its current state, um, that you can go play with. But soul memory outside of that hasn't been changed. Yes. Um, are there any new weapons or armor? We talked about that before. The some of the new invaders, the forlorn, mm -hmm. yeah. have Whoa. have an armor set and a couple weapons that you can get them to drop. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Why ain't it possible to get invaded <laughs> by five enemies, three blue phantoms, two red, and myself? We got it. What? This might break game. I mean. There's up to six people can be <laughs> up to six people Failed. can be in the online world, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So three friendly phantoms, mm -hmm. and then two invaders. And I think that's to help newer players through the game, just kind of using some more. If you have some more people, yeah, some I don't think everybody people. wants to have three people just run. Yeah, you, <laughs> you don't have to if you don't want to. That's right, fine. Right, right, right. You died. Everyone's. I did die. Of, everyone's making. Fun I of rolled of right off that plank. Oh, I need to put this back in slow mode. There you go. Um, so... See, now I can't... Can you go in between graphics and old placement? No. The no. Scholar of the First Sin is the Scholar of the First Sin. So, yes, you, there, you cannot revert back to 
the PS3, Xbox 360 version of Dark Souls. Yeah. So one of the more interesting things is the Pursuer. Mm -hmm. He seems to, and we don't know the full scope of the implementation yet. We know a lot of what's mm -hmm. going on. Um, he follows you around. So you meet the Pursuer in yep. the normal the Pursuer. Yep. But then when you go to some other areas, he just shows up. Yes. And he literally he pursues you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. In so, the most random places, he will um, be there. The Lost Bastille, he shows up a mm -hmm. um, couple different times. Yep. So it's very interesting. And yes. he, has, uh, he has that going on. And, yeah, they he will rise from the ground like a hell demon. And <laughs> yeah. with all any other enemies after you, he will sure, sure. decide to charge sure. up and get you. Um, I'm going to try to pick up some more questions. Um, are retailers selling the DirectX 9 version? In we terms of PC physical, we don't sell it's physical be digital, yeah. PC copies here in the States. Mm -hmm. In Europe, you'll have to ask uh, ben, at ben and Emco UK yep. on Twitter, and they can maybe ask us. We honestly yes. don't know in Europe which they're selling at retailers, right. the physical copies. Here it's just going to be digital. Here PC is digital only. So that's the pursuer. Um, do you get any extra swag? <laughs> Dura, do you get a discount? Can you farm souls? You uh, so uh, farming souls. So that's something different. You don't. I forget if it's in the patch or if it's in this version, off my top of my head. But if you join. The Covenant of Champions. Oh, Enemies yeah, yeah, will yeah. continue to respawn even after you kill them multiple times. Right, right. So you can farm souls now, yeah? Yep. So branches of your, we talked about that. There's more friendly NPCs, like summonable NPCs. Mm -hmm. um, so there's more of those guys. Um, I can't see. Your, uh, different enemies, different balance grammar. Uh, enemies chase you for longer. Mm -hmm. Some of them have different aggro ranges, too. Yes. Some of them have higher, some of them lower mm -hmm. aggro range. And the enemies just chase you for longer. There's a scene from, and I think IGN had it on their screen, but the Forest of Fallen Giants where all those guys are laying on the ground. Yes. Where the first Hade Knight used to be. Mm -hmm. They're all laying on the ground. And you can go and round up. And yes. you can have like 30 people chasing <laughs> you at one time. It's pretty cool. You want that to happen. That can happen. It's pretty cool. Um, some of the enemy placement really changes the difficulty of some areas. I was talking to one of the QA guys and in Hidden Valley Ranch or Harvest. <laughs> Harvest Valley. Is it Harvest Valley? It's Harvest Valley. Harvest Valley. Um, Are you talking about the, the sorceresses? Yeah, yes. when you go to approach the tower, mm -hmm. of, I forget what it's called, there's the Earth fire sorcerers. Yeah, the fire sorceresses mm -hmm. um, sting fire from like way above you. Yes. So there's just a lot, and those priests are moving around different places. There's just a lot of stuff that's changed in regarding. Yeah, they kind of rebalance the area. Where did that guy come from? That is a dog kick. I feel like enemy placement, you just say that a lot. As you're going through the game, you say, whoa, where's that yeah, guy? Yeah. You're not used to seeing that. And uh, yeah, like I said before, it really changes the strategy of how you play the areas. Right. Right. And so in that area, I believe they were, there were those trolls that had the guys right on the back. Yeah. That were sh that shoot the dark magic at you. Now uh -huh. you have these fire priestesses. Yeah. Oh, look what we found. Look at you. Oh, look at you. Okay, so I think it's time to put on yeah, some different armor. Easy. All right. A lot of people ask about balance changes. I don't have any, we don't have any information on any specific changes that are upcoming. Mm -hmm. It doesn't rule it out that they're not supporting right. anymore, but we don't have any specific information right now on I that. I know some changes may have been made to weapon balancing, like the parameters of that, yeah. those, but I'm not sure of. So, the Scholar of the First Sin box art on Xbox One, PS4, looks like this. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. It's forlorn in the front. Um, it's different on Xbox 360 and PS3. Um, it's the guy holding the crown. Mm -hmm. um, trying to look through some of the questions. What is the point between having a DirectX 9 DirectX 11 version? Um, we don't want to make the game... We wanted to make a game that's a new experience. Mm -hmm. But we don't want to change what other people... Right. I mean, there's in the DirectX 9 version will be is more accessible for people with slower PCs and stuff, yes. and is cheaper. Yes. So if that's all you want, then you can just go for it. Dark Souls 2's base game is still great, mm -hmm. and you can keep on doing that. Um, somebody was asking about soft bans. Um, so from 
soft bans are controlled by the from software team. Yes. Like we internally here at Bandai Namco Games, don't touch that list. Mm -hmm. um, so if people could talk to our support, we can give you all the information we have. But that's and we can and we can make requests and we can talk to those guys about it. But that's completely sure. managed by from software. Um, put on some different armor. The Havel's armor on here. Okay. Rolling around. Put on so some of the different. All some right. of them they might not have seen. I mean, they probably uh, okay. seen most of them. But how about what some was of the crazy the stuff? Giant. Let's see. What Full eye orbs. I don't think that's planned yeah. to be in there. Uh, Scholar the first in easier or harder now. The game feels, to me personally, a little more difficult. But mm -hmm. there's some things in the game. Oh, you got the Mad Warrior yes. helmet. The game seem, but this, but they put some things in it to kind of assist with that difficulty, like. Um, the more, more phantoms, yeah, the yeah. phantoms, the yeah. increased co-op partners. Um, but yeah, I, it's been interesting going back, playing through areas that on the PS3 and Xbox 360 version, I would barrel through. Right, know. right. Now it's, you have to take a lot more slow, a lot more. Right, right, just gotta right. get used to everything again. Um, one thing. Oh, No Man's Wharf. There's a. New part of, I mean, there's new addition to the map. Yes. Is a shortcut, right? Yes. And yeah, let's go. I'll you want to go run and find that real quick? We'll try. That makes this area a little more. A little more easy to get back and forth. Yeah. Uh, let's light this torch because this area is a lot darker than it used to be. Let's go light that. Uh, people asking about how much pricing and costs and stuff like I said, well, we've already went through that information. Mm -hmm. And we'll publish the video to YouTube afterwards, but we're also, we'll publish that information for everyone to see. Yeah, that'll be up on yeah. social media channels. Yes. And on Steam, the game will launch on Steam April 1st. First. 3 p.m. Pacific. 3 day, uh, yes. Yeah. Bro. Um, In-depth lore, a lot of the, I think it's the same, you know, obviously we added the yeah. Scholar of the, the Scholar of Persons been added in there. Mm -hmm. The lore's the s same as it was after the patch, but there's increased, there's more like descriptions on the items, and there's kind of a lot more that they, a little more they tell you. Yeah, so yeah. the lore description is going to be the same as Dark Souls 2 is on, the current Dark Souls 2 uh, with the content patch. Right. Uh, so you'll have different expanded lore descriptions in certain items right and it added the scholars for sin uh, NPC to kind of take you through a different uh, some more some more of the backstory of this uh, the game okay and this is actually where we're gonna see our friend the shadow there he is okay. He's not please hurt. explain to me why there's no new item I mean we, there's a lot of questions we can't ask. Yeah. Like, why is this not in the game? Why is that not in the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there choices by From Software to make the game they want to make? Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a Shadow Warrior here. Yes. Um, the, the, they, this is making the game they want to make. This yeah. was, they wanted to make a Dark Souls 2, another Dark Souls 2 experience. Mm -hmm. It's this, it's the same game at the base, but there's a lot more going on. Yes, um, definitely. And, yeah, putting new items in is going to, Take a lot more, you know, obviously resources and sure. uh, considerations like balancing and making Somebody sure everything works together. Sure. Ooh. Somebody asked about net code. Um, we don't have any information about any net code yes. changes or anything uh, like they, that. They, they're planning. They want to improve the stability of the the, the online matchmaking systems. And I don't know if it's more of the matchmaking systems rather than the actual net code, but. Okay. Uh, so in terms of like connecting to each other, mm -hmm. well, that's one of the new features too. We talked about that. If you go to a bonfire, and you look at the areas, yeah. so your list of areas, yep. oh, you're gonna die, aren't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you go to a bonfire, look at the number of areas. There will be markings on that screen that tell you where you're more likely to find other player interactions. Yes. Right. So there will be a faint outline while you're playing online of certain areas, right. and those will be where. Activi online activity is here's the shortcut back to 
beginning of the level here, where a certain uh, online activity is higher. Yeah. So you'll be able to find more matches. Sure, sure. Through those areas. And it's kind of helping you find where those matches are going to be. Yep. Um, somebody's making fun of you playing. People are asking sure. about why would I buy this game again? If you don't want to buy this game again, that's that's okay, <laughs> man. You don't have to. No this one's is forcing anybody. We think it's a cool experience. Yep. I think it's fun to play back through yep. again. If you're like, man, I don't want to play through that game again. Well, that's okay, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's perfectly, yes. It is your rights. That bridge alone is worth $20? Probably <laughs> not. But we <laughs> it is a big help. <laughs> um, so we have giveaways now. Mm -hmm. we got about five minutes left. Um, I think we've, were you going to go, what, what else were we going to go? Oh, oh the beginning. Check out so this. I'll so grab the giveaways. You do that. One of the differences you see pretty fast is a petrified statue in Things Betwixt, um, where you go to the coffin that changes the gender of your character. Sure. Which, spoiler, spoilers, I guess, if you didn't know, <laughs> that think, happened, or you well, wondered why all of a sudden you're... I think everybody figured <laughs> that. I mean, there's... Kind of the first time, I think everybody knows by now. Everybody's yeah. watching the stream knows that coffin. And <laughs> this... Oh, you know what? Oh, maybe we will be able to buy it. I got Buku souls here. Um, what are you doing? Buying the fragrant branch of York. I don't have any right now. Did we use all? Oh, because he died. I, and times. I don't have any. <laughs> once. <laughs> <laughs> so this this uh, merchant here, uh, Malentia, sells talk sure instead of find out about the giants. So what we're going to do with the giveaways is we have three copies of the game. Three on Xbox One, three on PS4, and we have six posters, which can be seen behind us. Mm -hmm. So we'll put those together into six packages for winners. And we're going to pick six winners. So my first question for everybody on stream, first of all, i got to turn slow mode off, um, is what is your, what's your favorite weapon? What weapon do you use the most? Mm -hmm. So type in chat your favorite weapon. And I'll pick three winners now. Sure. And then we'll do another question. We'll pick three winners later. Are you going to the, the yeah, place? Yeah, my sword broke, but <laughs> that's fine. Okay, upgraded. Something else down here. Oops. Oh, my card's right here. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that uh, merchant sells you a fragrant branch of yours, so you can go shade woods a lot earlier. You can... Um, see what is in the tunnel between No Man's Wharf and Hype Tower Flame. Um, kind of opens up the game. Sure, you Go sure. see Strayed before yeah. you fight uh, the Lost Sinner or go to Harvest Valley. So let's see what... I'm interested to see why they closed this off. Have you played? You've been playing a little bit, right? Yeah. Since we have the retail copies? Yes. I've been playing. I'm probably like four or five hours in. I'm and about the same, yeah, yeah. The same area. And I make sure I don't fall. Or <laughs> dumb. Don't fall. <laughs> so it should be here. Yeah, I just defeated the skeleton lord. Oh yeah. Oh. See ya. Let's see what's back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So, our first set of winners, um, and I'll contact you. We have which which platform you want PS4, or Xbox One. But our first three winners are Ruxi, R U X I E E, Ruxi, Astora Bro, A S T O R A B R O, Astora Bro. And Drelic, D R E L Y K. So all of you guys will message you on Twitch to get your contact information. Mm -hmm. If we don't message you in the next couple days, feel free to send us yep. a message, or you can find me on Twitter at J Karchi, J K A R T J E, and we'll make sure you get your prize and we'll ship it out as soon as the game is released. Yep. Um. So that's the winner of our weapon. So what? what is, what's the next question for the other three people? You have a question? Oh, do I have a question? Yeah. Uh, where? Oh, it's some some trivia. Hmm. A question. Not a question. Yeah. Spot on this one. Uh, sure, sure. Where sure. do you find where? Where does this guy first show up? The mad uh, 
The Mad Warrior? The Mad Warrior. Where does he first show up? first see this guy in Dark Souls 2. Okay. I think an important lesson was learned. For people who haven't played Dark Souls, Sure. don't panic when you run into a room and see things. Because <laughs> you will uh, maybe fall off an edge. Okay, I'm getting my winners. I think everybody figured out. Is it Belfry Soul? Yes. <laughs> Uh -oh. um. I like that guy's name. <laughs> okay. So you taking out those guys, then we're gonna see what's going on. Yeah, let's see what's going on back here. So the next round of winners is F Z Fletch. Uh, F Z and Fletch. Uh, Keeper Fim. K E E. R F I M and Noodlestein. There you go. Noodlestein. Noodlestein. Congratulations. Noodle. We will send you a poster. I gotta find poster too to ship these out. Mm -hmm. I'll find them. And then copies, a copy of Dark Souls 2 Scar the First Sin on next gen platform of your choice. Um, and right now, we're pretty oh much like wrapping up guys. here, but we want to see what. Don't get. Try not to. We want to see what all this area is all about before we close out for the evening. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Um, we understand that a lot of this information you guys have been waiting a long time mm -hmm. for. And we understand the Steam PC thing is a little confusing mm -hmm. uh, to wrap your head around. But like I said, we'll publish all the information. Um, we'll get make everything nice and clear for everybody. Yes. Um, and we definitely don't want to. We're not throwing away the original Dark Souls 2. We're not right. saying that doesn't matter anymore. Check out this new version. Yeah. It's just different. Now. a different version to play in. And, uh... Oy. Whoa! Hey, yeah, hello! So it's still just the, the fat elephant out here? These guys. Oh, alright, well, still just talking. that them. thing? Whoa! Oh, Whoa. there's two guys. Were that's there right. two here before? Yeah, there's two. Okay. See you. Well, that's pretty much... Right. Well, not bad. Maybe there's... I don't know. We don't <laughs> know what's over here. Check it out. Let us know. There's also one of those guys walking around in the forest of fallen giants. Oh, yeah, he, he's, <laughs> he's there. Well, you can find the hippo, hippo I mean. rhinos <laughs> a lot faster. Um, so, anyways, thank you, everybody, for coming out. Prizes, we'll get these to you guys. Message us on Twitch. We'll message you on Twitch. We'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Dark Souls 2 Scott the First Sin is out on April 7th on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and on Steam. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is it the Pursuer? We got no, problems. Oh, that's awesome. And he's, his visor's already lit up. Yeah, this is. Not a good. What's? Oh, all right. See ya. <laughs> he just said hello. He says hello. And goodbye. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> all right. That's awesome. <laughs> so, anyways, on Steam, April first at three p.m. Pacific. Yes. Um, it'll be live on Steam. Directors mm -hmm. nine and Directors eleven version. Yes. Okay. I think that's it. And April seventh for. April seventh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think that's it. Thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in. And if you have more questions, hit us on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Hit me on Reddit. We'll get your answers. Yep. Um, I think that's it. Thanks for joining us. Great. All right. Thanks.